Did you play the Lego games? I played it back in the day. Like back in the day when it was still like a new thing. I think it was like on GameCube. Mm. But it was it was a long time ago. Uh I honestly I didn't even know this one was coming out until I started seeing a bunch of clips on my YouTube. Like my YouTube was like just flooded flooded with with uh lego star wars um like clips and i was like what is this going on and then i realized that the game had come out and i've seen a few of the clips and i really 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 want to buy the game apparently i just saw like a reddit post that it skips certain battles or something like that but you're you're not like a big star wars fan right I would say I'm an average Star Wars fan. Like, you enjoy it, you know things about it, but... I mean, I know now that Star Wars takes place in the past. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Good job. You're learning. You're learning. I'm just kidding. Um, So, as, as a fan, I'm a little disappointed in myself for not knowing that the game was coming out. Uh... But I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've seen a lot of good things about it. Uh, I've been going to GameStop almost every other day, just seeing if they have a the hard copy, the cartridge, mm. to buy it. Yeah. Um, and they keep offering me to give me a digital copy. Like they're like, "Well, we can sell you a key," and I'm like, "No, I want the cartridge. I just do." Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> no, I do know. Um, I think in my head, it's more of like... Mm, I, I feel like I'm... I, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm being super optimistic and kind of... Hmm, it's a lot of what ifs, really. But like in my head, I'm like, okay, well... I like Lego Star Wars. I like Legos in general. I like Star Wars in general. Lego Star Wars, amazing, right? Good combo, and, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a good combo for me. And I, I do have a few games that are cartridge, and I have a couple of games that are uh, downloaded onto my Nintendo Switch. P.S. I'm getting this for the Nintendo Switch. But I want the hard copy because in my head, I'm thinking like, well, if I get the game and I'm playing on my Switch, uh, this is a multiplayer game, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, split screen so i'm like because it's a lego game and it's star wars like maybe amber will want to play with me you know and we could have a couple of like game nights you know yeah it could be one of one of her segues into gaming which is my hope babe if you're listening can we play (laughs) (laughs) um and so in my in my head i'm just thinking okay well if that works out and she takes a liking to it then at some point, maybe she'll want to have her own Nintendo Switch. Now, at this Whoa. point, I'm also I'm also thinking about getting the Switch OLED, right? Mm-hmm. Bigger screen, uh, just faster battery, whatnot. And so I'm like, well, if I end up buying a second Switch so that we can have one in the TV room and one in the bedroom, uh, and if we're both wanting to play at the same time, then I can have still my own profile and I could just get the game cartridge and put it there. Also, not that this will ever happen, but if I ever wanted to sell it, I can sell a cartridge and I don't have to rely on the code or anything like that. So I think there's a DRM protection against that. Again, selling a digital copy? Selling, installing it and then reselling it. Right, no, th- that's not what I'm saying. Is like if I ever want to sell it, oh, I, see, I, I, see. I'd rather sell a cartridge and give him a physical thing rather than saying, "Oh, here's the code, now give me money." <laughs> no, I like see, it. I see. Because Steam, about it, Steam just, lets you do that. But I don't know. I feel like uh, there's something about having the physical copy that is very. Uh, do you like your books? To- hard copy i'd rather get a hard copy books okay that explains and and you know what i 
I'm going to I'm going to put my foot in my mouth because I actually would rather listen to a book than reading it. Because <laughs> But you like to own the the hard copy. <laughs> yeah, but I want to own the hard copy. Like I like the smell of books, I like the feel of books. I like having a bookcase with books. But when it comes to the content, I just want it fed into my head. <laughs> um, oh man. Like the Harry Potter books. I only read, like actually read uh, the first book. All of the other ones Impressive. I listened to. Okay. I listened to them on YouTube. I listened to them on uh, Audible. Um, and, it, and, and it's great. I love it. But I also want to have the hard copies. Hmm. See, I think I, there's... I digital all the way for me. I don't it. need that. But clutter. That's, what, if, what if there's like a cyber attack and then you lose it all? Well, most games are online anyway. So then, even if you have a game, you can't even play it. I mean, I guess that's for like multiplayer games, and I play right. mostly and, and multiplayer games. Right, and that's the other games. thing. I, I think uh, part that has a lot to do with it. Um, having the game, a physical game, you don't always necessarily need to have an internet connection. You can just... Yeah play it unlike steam you know if you have no internet you have no access to steam um or yeah like multiplayer stuff and i think that's the other thing that's the other reason why i like the safety of a hard copy because mm -hmm. if we lose power uh my entertainment is if, if my entertainment is all digital then at least i'll still have books you know to read. <laughs> Or a Nintendo Switch with a hard copy cartridge to play, even though I know you don't need internet for the <laughs> digital copy. So whatever. I don't know, man. I'm just difficult like that. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I think I understand. Like, um, I was watching this video on uh, Gran Turismo 7 and how it's like online. You can't even play the game offline anymore. Like, if you want to do that, you got to do like, these weird music modes like not having to do with racing at all oh, yeah. and then that made me think about it like man i still have my old copy of gran turismo 3a spec and then um i could easily just plug in my playstation 2 and play that you know not worrying about internet we don't live in those times anymore i know i kind of miss it yeah do you ever wish you could go back to the 90s uh no early 2000s the graphics are way too good now that i would ever <laughs> go back to blocky polygons i think that's yeah i mean yeah it's weird because people reminisce on the old times yeah when really we have it good like i was thinking about this i was really thinking about this if Battlefield 2042, as much as it sucks today, right? If it came out around the time of Battlefield 1942, or even Battlefield 2, it would have been in a, a crazy success. You think so? Yeah. Because it, there's a lot of innovation that is now expected in today's gaming. And, and then, as you can't... You can't get away with just like saying, oh, we introduced this. People are like, well, that's already present in other games. Opposed to, you know, Battlefield 1942. Oh, this is the first time you can drive cars and tanks and planes. Which is surprising. Call of Duty still doesn't do that. I know. I feel like they should. I mean, even PUBG. And doesn't Fortnite also do it? And apex and basically every other shooter game has capabilities to do to drive uh, something yeah drive a tank or a jeep or something yeah. and call of duty focuses too much on just the ground battle which is fine i mean i guess it's good to have a separate but having the option would be cool too yeah i mean with battlefield you can you can uh you can do that too you can do a no vehicles map and then you could do a full-on map yeah, I think that's why Battlefield 3 and 4 worked. Because you had maps that 
still allowed infantry where vehicles don't overpower the game just like in 2042 i think yeah. it's just the maps that are bad man you got no, me but... talking about 2042 again <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, you, every time you talk about it, I just think maybe I should just buy it again and download it and, and play it. I no. won't even recommend it at this time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still so bummed that I, I, don't, I, I didn't get the access to it. It's yeah, so stupid. I think I reached the limit. Remember how we talked about last time? There's like a, yeah. there's a certain hour that you hit when you're like, okay, I've played the game enough. And I think yeah. that's where I'm at. It's kind of like boring now. So what's going to be your next game? I might go back to Battlefield 4. Or even oh, 3. You're just, <laughs> yeah. you're just going to go back to, to yeah. Battlefield? Yeah. Even though I just uh, said I'd rather play newer games. <laughs> if, if shooter games weren't a thing, if Battlefield wasn't a thing, what's the game that you'd be playing? Oh, man. Like, do you play RPG games, right? Last one I like, played was the remake of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, what about Skyrim? Did you ever play that? No, really? You're one of no, the few. No, no, didn't really get into it. And you're not like into the whole like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, my brother was into it. He's in, he like got Bloodborne, but I think he got bored of it. Ah, oh, it's interesting. It's so yeah. funny because we have so many different spectrums of gamers out there. And, like, the majority of people that I work with, they're all about Elden Ring right now. Like that's, I know. That's all they talk about. That's all I and see. Then, yeah, it's all we see. And, like, me talking about LEGO Star Wars, it seems like I'm also one of the few within my personal, like, circle of friends mm. that actually cares about that game. And I'm like, okay. And then with like Battlefield and Call of Duty, like I feel like there's also like a, a a demographic of people that are just into those type of games and don't really pay attention to anything else going on in the gaming world. Yeah. And it's weird because I like I like all of them. Like I like you know like The Witcher Three, Skyrim, Dark Souls, and and uh, Elden Ring are not games that I've played, but I do find people playing them entertaining like when pewdiepie plays in the mornings and he goes live like it's such a blast to just watch him play uh but like sports games i like sports games mostly just soccer really um uh, yeah I don't if, know. I, if i were to get into the whole elden type gaming i want to try to get into that with witcher only because Brittany and i watch the show and that's my way of trying to get her into gaming, <laughs> just like <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, wait, I, I ooh, ooh. dang it, I had a question and I forgot. Why can't I think of it? I am seriously drawing a blank right now. I like. <laughs> I think um, another game. Oh boy, man! Like a, we got into was Detroit. That was oh, a yeah. fun one. And then there's a new one that is uh, coming out, The Quarry. And I think it's it's similar. It's not, It looks like it's a similar game to Detroit, but I think it's made by them. So I'm, I think I'm slowly migrating to, like, uh, the RPG. couch co-op games. Like, we're into mm. uh, Overcooked. That was a really fun one. Dude, Overcooked is such a fun game. The second one or first one? I think I have the second one. Yeah. We yeah. we love that one. Uh, and then now into like the story games, like the choose your own adventure, which is interesting because we tried getting into Life is Strange, but that didn't really pick up. I think it was because I... of the cartoonish aesthetic, maybe. Oh, and you don't like that. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Is that by the tell Telltale stories? No, nah, that's a, I don't know. I don't remember. But even then, okay. like even the Telltale ones, like they seem to have good stories. I don't know why it hasn't. I don't know. I don't know why we. Like it doesn't hasn't, captivate like, you. Yeah, I don't know why. At least not yet. Maybe. What about uh, Breath of the Wild? 
like Zelda? Are you is that one that you're into or is that like me? I would put that in like the Skyrim category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see in uh Breath of the Wild is one of the few games that I've actually put in a lot of hours into. Any Zelda game really, it's Zelda in general, the Zelda umbrella is hmm. what I've dedicated most of my life to and that's probably followed by like blizzard games and then followed by both age of empires and um left for dead Ah. i think those are the games that i've played the most did you uh, see the new um diablo 4 teasers i've seen a yeah i've seen a teaser for it i think it was like a i just watched one it was like a environment uh first look alpha type thing oh looks okay, pretty sweet that. the last thing i've i saw was a trailer for it that came out also like two years ago and it was like the the blood um uh, cape blood cape yeah there's like a blood cape like there's a lot of blood and it forms into this evil entity that has a big cape <laughs> i don't remember that Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. That thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Okay. I'm going to get you with your screen. Your screen that. on screen. Like that? <laughs> Ghetto. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for Breath of the Wild. I'm I'm a little uh, sad that it's been delayed to 2023 because it was supposed to come out... Uh, at the end of this year, we, we I was actually expecting a summer release, but uh, I knew that was kind of far-fetched. And then I was like, all right, well, Harry Potter Legacy is coming out in the holiday season. So I figured Breath of the Wild will do the same. And they literally released a video specifically directed at Zelda fans saying, we are working really hard on this. And we are delaying the game release to spring of 2023. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> My bad. But uh, it's okay. I'd rather they take their time with it and, and give us a good game than a faulty game. So Battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For real. But um, what games... Are you guys most excited about? Is there any games coming out soon that you guys are love like waiting to play? Or are you just whatever comes comes? Yeah, let us know what kind of games you play. If you're in the shooter category, Elden Ring category, or the Zelda, or much like Brittany and I with our store games that we're migrating to. Let us know. 